Truck's ready. We'll be right behind you. Godspeed, Kingsley. Case mates, I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up. Go, Sarge. All right, boys, this is it. You're on me. Tommy! Try and get back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Top of you. With me. Press it fire now. Take 
point. Got it, Sarge. Lights are up. I'll cover ahead while you find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here. Sarge, torch over here. Best grab it. Down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Son, use your help here. Looks like Webb did his part. The rest is up to us. Shit! Take cover! Smoke ready! Clear him out! Smoke up! Go! Case made is clear. How are we blasting this one? We're out of thermite. I'll feed it a Bangalore. Let's get up top before this thing explodes! Any minute. Damn! Flare's ruptured! You've got to be fucking joking! Where's Webb? There! Lower case, mate! Incoming! Get down! I'm going for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it!
Where the hell have you been? Funny time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boy, shall we? our captain, but we'd won the day, and we'd honoured the memory of all those we lost, the only way we could, by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command, and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. Surrender by a German army since Allied troops stormed the shores of Europe. The Fuhrer asked the German people read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Heil Hitler. Christ, what is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, ein, ein! Ich sag der Beweg dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Valida, the eggs is all climbing. Da, it's good to be back. Your vision. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals, office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix 
had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. Are there other teams like this one? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you. Herita. I understand. Thank you. So. We have our friend by the Kubish Reich, you daft! Ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. I told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it. But the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. That's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Alina, the Christine, who's nice, Yoshta Moshish. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement, particularly when it came to Petrova. Napolia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. I'm wasted. Stuck in the med tent. But, 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 stop. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodging. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, 
be nice. I'm always nice. Misha, mm. what you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our cameras already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs, sir. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Pasha, you worry too much. Oh, she's true. That hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Ligushka. Kazyol. Shaba. Both of you. I'm going to be late. Sit! Oh, there. Isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know. You're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papasha. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No, you told me that's not where I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice on the map. At least you get to fight. Oh, don't tell me at least. You? Fight it. You are both doing your part. Which reminds me. If any of those who brutki get past you, you know where to send them. <laughs> of course, of course. They will never get through. Never. Blin! I need to run. They're waiting for me. Miss, you're... Fox. He would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on my way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Spasiba, Papa. <laughs> Safe out there. You cannot believe it. He's taking the chair. I don't even know what's going on. They told us to be there. But you, you think the Germans will push into the city? Not if you're out there fighting. Milimut, the new partisans I'm training will crush them before they get close. I believe Fall it. In. Good luck out there. Forget something? You're a lifesaver. I know. We should speak with. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army Tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. Now. Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around out there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go in. You can pack everything there. Something smells good over here. Oh, Paulina! I saved the loaf for your family. Spasiba. <laughs> You're welcome. Your father has been bothering me for some Borodinsky. <laughs> of course he has. I'll come by and grab it later. Be safe at work, Paulina.
Have you been hearing? I told you. You have to give me back that money. No, you what you Is blocked. Move along. The medical officer will assign your duties. She's down the other side of the truck. <laughs> We'll need you down by the first tent. Plenty of men that need catching up today. Go ahead, join the others. Get back! 
back inside, Meechan! Stalingrad. Now!
Tell Mom I'm off to save Misha. As usual.
Stay here. Too many soldiers. I think they're dead! Can you get us free now? Sistrenka, it was incredible. We're going. Now. Gospodje, I, I, I was so scared that you and... Me? You're the one tied up? Take care of the others. Olya? Huh? Up, up. He's gone. Gone. Oh, no. Misha. No. Misha! No. We don't have time for this. We have to get your recruits out of here. If we stay here much longer, we're trapped. You're right. You're right. Okay. Let's go. Misha, we need to get to the Volga. How do we get out of this building? Misha, focus. How can we escape to the river? There's an exit here. We could make a run for the sewers. But the Germans are blocking the courtyard. It'll be tough. Do you have any extra supplies? Weapons? Anything I can use? I know there were soldiers defending on the roof. They had the radio. There might be supplies, too. All right. I'll lay down cover fire from there while you get our people to the sewers. If you're sure, sister, maybe you can reach the roof climbing up there. I should get you to the roof. I'll give you a boost. I'll find a good place to cover you. I know. You've always been a better shot than me. The Pasha is with me now. And I know he wouldn't want us to die in this post office to a bunch of Ubliotki. He would be proud of you. He would be proud of us. Get our people to the sewer. I'll lay them fire from the roof. Do miss, okay? I never do. Okay, ребята, once we're out on the street, stay hidden until the Vina is in position. I found the radio. Polina, do you see the one on the roof? Can you hear me? Блять, I'm not receiving. Boy, Bosch, I hope you're listening to me for once. We are pinned down in the crater by the trolley.
Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping? Even greater. But no one really escaped something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives. Burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrow deep. She was destined to return the favor. And that had made her the deadliest member of my team. Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me, why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top secret allied operation? You do not scare me, little mouse. <laughs> you misunderstand me, Fräulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? Because I am a woman. You're not very good at this, are you? Uh, 
<laughs> Tell me, what other missions the Allies have in Germany? Nothing worth talking about. <laughs> so, what is worth talking about, Fräulein? Rising. We'll confirm my story together. Mm -hmm. Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes. That one. And with. Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? An American arrested at Tempelhof, trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. The prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you. Trying to be nice. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? I stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. <laughs> <laughs> 